Hi and welcome to the 411 Mamas. It's Rachelle here with a quick craft, a little do-it-yourself distressed canvas portrait perfect for the upcoming Father's Day celebration uh, or any gift giving celebration that you might have in mind. You'll need a photocopy from a laser photocopy machine, so not an inkjet printer, gel medium from your art store, a foam brush, spray bottle full, full of water, and a canvas large enough for your photocopy. Take your canvas, and what I'm going to do is just take my photocopy and I'm going to score it so that I know it's centered when it comes time to adhere it to the canvas with a gel medium. Now keep in mind that your image will transfer backwards, that is in reverse. So if you have any text, you'll need to flip that before you actually put the image, the photocopy down onto the canvas. Again, the image will transfer in reverse. So here I'm just creasing it so that I know where to put it when it's time to put it down with the gel medium. Now it's time for the gel medium. You're going to apply it with a foam brush, or any brush really, and you're going to apply it to the canvas all over the entire surface. You want to make sure you put down enough gel medium to cover the photocopy. This is what's going to keep the image onto the canvas and it's going to transfer it. You don't want to apply it too thick or too thin, just a, a nice medium, uh, medium thickness. You don't want it to dry too quickly, and if it's too thick, it won't transfer very well. So again, just apply it all over the surface of your canvas. You can see a few air bubbles here, but they will smooth out uh, when it dries. You'll need to let that dry completely, overnight if possible. Now that it's completely dry, you're going to take your water in a spray bottle and you're just going to spray the surface of the canvas and the photocopy. You want to saturate the paper and the idea is saturating the paper with the water so that you can remove it. And what will be left is the image, the toner really, from the photocopy that you made. Make sure you put some plastic down so you don't ruin your work surface, especially if you're doing this on your nice dining room table like I am. <laughs> As you can see, the image is starting to show through and that will, and you can see that it's in reverse. So saturate that paper. And then once it is saturated, it will, the paper will pull apart or pull away from the canvas, leaving that toner. Now, it doesn't need to be perfect. The idea of this is to be distressed. So don't worry if some of that toner does come off. It can be a little bit difficult to remove, but you'll, you'll do this process a couple times, a few times until you get it the way you like it. And just use a really gentle hand so you don't pull off too much of that toner because you can't go back. Once you've pulled it off of the canvas, it's gone. So just take your time, remove it as gently as possible, and then you can always repeat this step of wetting the paper and removing it from the canvas. So you can see, it's starting to dry. I've pulled as much of the paper away as I can, but it's starting to dry again. And you can tell because the as the paper dries, it becomes more opaque. There you see it's dried again. So I'm going to spray a little bit more water and remove even more paper until I get exactly the nice texture that I want and the distressed look that I'm going for. You can see here there's a little bit of that distressed look which is fine because that's what I'm going for. And you never know what you're going to get really. So just pull away gently and you can see a little bit more right there. This process does take some time, but it's a nice personalized gift. And you can use any photo that you like. 
You should be able to even use a color copy. I haven't tried that yet, but I think that might transfer just as nicely as a black and white. But make sure you use a laser toner. Uh, that is a, a laser photocopier, not a, a jet, an inkjet printer. That will not transfer. Once you've gotten it to the state that you'd like to rub off the rest of that paper, and then you're going to just apply even more gel medium on top of it to seal everything in. And make sure you get the sides of the canvas as well, um, uh, all over the entire surface so it's nice. And it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. Nice texture gives it that sort of um, painted look.